to beginning because I meet some people they help me for to take out my emotion and put in the wall and all the time is evolution you know all the time when you travel to other cities around the world you can you can drink a lot of culture no mm -hmm. and you take for your art for Yes, I need it. It's part of my life. It's the same than to eat, to sleep. Yes, I need it. Yeah. Until you start down the path that you're meant to be on, you really have no idea that you're doing things wrong. Um, I started to see all the opportunities that came my way, and I started to take them. And I wasn't afraid to take them anymore. My art is my work but it doesn't feel like, like work. I work harder now than I've ever done in my life. I work seven days a week. Yes, I go off and travel, but a lot of the time I'm still working hard, but it just doesn't feel like work anymore. It just feels like it's a part of me, and that I'm should be, I was meant to be doing it. It's like when you're learning to drive. You, do, you don't get in the car the first time and know everything to do, and you don't do everything properly. You learn how to do it. So it's the same with artwork. I don't understand why people think that they should get um, immediate results from things. I think the more work you put in and the harder you work, the better results you'll get. And you may make some sort of groundbreaking discoveries, but generally it's little things. And those little things lead to other little things. And when you look back over the course of time, you realize that you've gone really far. big step, it's just loads of little ones. No, for me what is important to try to integrate with the, with the place where I am. I think like my inspiration is coming from a story you know, that is already there. It can be a ticket, it can be a book, it can be anything to draw on it. But it's starting from a story. So it's from one side, this is taking inspiration from our already existing story. At the same time, it's to give a new life to a thing that was abandoned or was uh, there with no meaning. So it's not only about painting on the walls, it's also to bring back in my studio things I find during my travels, you know. And so, so it's an exchange. Of, so traveling with my sketchbook all the time is a way to tell my life and the life of the people I meet and also to to do like a new map in a city where I go, you know. What is bringing me like an attitude to do this is the idea to give new life to something. In this way, I prefer 
to go around and to find inspiration on the small stuff that, because I'm there in that moment. So I was traveling there and I'm next to this and I find you know, my, the same color in my bag and I have an idea for that place. Like this wall was full of tags, so the idea to draw this girl with the spray card was about to integrate my paint with the, the history of the wall. It was already a part and for me it's not, it's, a, it's like, you know, it's my way of living. So when I've been, the life I'm doing through the art is the life I wanted to do. And, you know, it's like, a, it's, it's together. I can't imagine to be alive without art because I'm, I would express myself at half. Maybe I can't say some things in other way, you know what I mean? So in a world where we see a lot of cynicism, when we are used to see a lot of violence, uh, you know, and I think that to speak about beauty and nice things can be superficial, but at the same time can be useful, you know. It can't look like something superficial because it's easy to speak about beauty, and, but I think that to me it's more important to speak what a what is to unify us as uh, humanity all around the world and to speak about what is dividing us. You know? I still paint out of my head, but um, I've usually thought of what I'm going to paint before I start, so yeah. Yeah, I like to do a lot of activist and protest kind of pieces, really. <laughs> uh, it's um, kind of like a, a voice. We all live in the street, you know, so it's kind of like it's a form of expression like music, really. So um, lots of people express it in different ways still, but yeah. I try and paint like a conscious voice, you know, so yeah, I hopefully, you know, uh, try and tell the other side, you know, because a lot of the media, they only tell one side of the story, don't they? So it's nice to get a chance to do the other side. Uh, maybe painting for like 20 years, something like that. Could I stop? No, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> hopefully not. Anyway. Para mí lo mejor es pintar en en barrios a las afueras, a las afueras. Y tampoco creo que viajar sea tan importante para el arte para el arte urbano. Creo que es más importante descentralizarlo de las capitales de los países. Es decir, bueno, de las capitales de los países o descentralizarlo está está muy muy centralizado, muy lo acabarán las grandes ciudades, pero los pueblos, pequeños pueblos, fábricas abandonadas, etc., es bueno para, para el arte, yo creo. Creo que, que en las ciudades, me gusta pintar en ciudades para devolver lo que el hombre ha robado a la naturaleza. Entonces es una forma de compensar de una forma ficticia. Es ficticio, es eh, ficticio, pero bueno, es una forma de compensación. Para mí es una forma de, de democratizar el arte, de devolver de la, la democracia fuera de la élite, pero también te acabas dando cuenta que, que hay una élite también en el street art, de la cual yo, a mí yo no comparto ese, ese sentimiento de pertenecer a una élite. Ni de, creo que es una forma democrática donde todos podemos expresarnos y siempre ha sido así, siempre es como trabajo. Oh, my God.